Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Next, we will look into the apportionment of joint cost to your joint product. Okay, there are basically three methods on how you can allocate your joint cost to your joint product. First is the known as the physical measurement method. Next is the sales value method. And the third one is the net realizable value method or NRV in short. Okay, first we will look into the physical measurement method. So for the physical measurement method, the cost allocation is a simple allocation of joint cost in proportion to volume or the physical weight of your product. So each product is assumed to receive similar benefits from the joint cost. Thus, it is charged with its proportionate share of the total cost. Take for example, you have the total joint cost of 150 ringgit. That 150 ringgit, you want to apportion to your three joint products. You have product X, Y and Z. So let's uh, let's say that you have the quantity for X is 40,000 units, for Y is 20,000 units and for Z is 60,000 units. So you have a total of 120,000 units being produced. So physical measurement is uh, any uh, uh, volume or quantity or any physical measurement, meters, uh, liters or whatever the physical volume that you have or physical uh, physical weight that you have so you will apportion the joint cost now you have one hundred and fifty thousand ringgit so you want to apportion that to how much for x how much for y and how much for z in order for you to do so you will need to have a certain basis and in this case you will take a basis of your units produced to allocate your joint cost to your joint product so so, if you are required to calculate the CPU for each product, so first you need to allocate your joint cost to your joint product. So, you have three products, X, Y and Z. This is the uh, unit produced. So, you if you were to total up, all these things will give you 120,000. So, you just take a ratio. This is very simple. You just take a ratio of proportion for, for example, for your X. So, for your X, you produce 40,000 out of 120,000. So the ratio or the proportion will be 40 out of 120. And then you want to apportion your joint cost of 150,000 ringgit just now. So that will be 40,000 divided by 120 times your 150,000 ringgit. So that will give you a total of 50,000 ringgit. So you do the same thing for Y and for that if you produce 20,000 units of Y, so that will be 20,000 divided by the total that is 120,000. And then you times with the total joint cost that you want to apportion, that is 150,000. So that will give you 25,000 ringgit. And then for product Z, that will be 60,000 divided by 120, that is 50%. So 50% times 150 gives you 75,000 ringgit. So, uh, how much is the total joint cost now that you have a portion to X? So, X will take a portion of 50,000. Y will take a portion of 25. While Z will take a portion of 75,000 of the total joint cost. If you were to add all this up, so 50 plus 25 plus 75 will give you back your 150,000. If you want to calculate the CPU or the cost per unit, that will be the 50,000 ringgit for X divided by 40,000 units that you have produced for X. So that will give you 1 ringgit and 25 cent. Uh, this method assumes that the CPU is the same for each of the product. You can take 25 divided by 20 and 75 divided by 60 gives you 1.25. So this method assumes that the CPU is the same for each product. So alternatively, you can calculate the CPU as the total cost divided by the total number of uh, total units produced, total number of units that you have produced. So you will get 1.25 as well. Okay, so that is the um uh, met uh, the uh, how you allocate your cost, your joint cost to the uh, your joint product here. So the first method that I've shown you is known as the physical measurement method.
Okay, if you remember, just now I've already explained. So what is it that you are doing here? You are you have a joint cost. In this case, you have 150,000 ringgit. So that joint cost, you want to apportion to your product, product X, Y, and Z. So you need to have a certain basis. The first basis that I have shown you is the physical measurement method. You want to know how much is the cost for X, how much is the cost for Y, and how much is your cost for Z. I have shown you the apportionment of joint cost based on the physical measurement method. Next, we will look into the sales value method to apportion your joint cost. Okay, for the sales value method, joint costs are allocated to joint products in proportion to the estimated sales value of production on the assumption that higher selling price indicates higher cost. So this method requires the calculation of the sales value of your output produce. So how do you get the sales value? It's very simple. It's just the quantity times with the selling price. Okay, for example, you have uh, we continue with the same example. You have the total joint cost just now, 150,000 ringgit. And that you want to apportion to your three joint products, X, Y, and Z. Given that the sales value for each product uh, are as follows, so you have the, uh, the sales value for, for example, if X is being sold at 12 ringgit, uh, 12 ringgit and 50 cent per unit. Why uh, the, se the selling price is 10 ringgit per unit and for your Z, the selling price is 5 ringgit per unit. If you want to work out how much is the, sale, uh, the sales value, you just times with the unit produced. So for X, that will be 40,000 units times 12 ringgit and 50 cent. So that will give you 50,000, uh, sorry, 500,000 ringgit. And then for Y, that will be 10 ringgit per unit times with the 20,000 units that you have produced. So 20,000 times 10 ringgit gives you 200,000 ringgit. While for Z, you, uh, you produce 60,000 units and the selling price per unit is 5 ringgit per unit. So that will be 60,000 times 5 gives you 300,000 ringgit. So you add this up, so that will give you 1 million. Five. Okay, so the total sales value is 1 million. And then what is it that you want to know? Uh, when you, you want to, uh, what is it that you want to do now is you want to apportion the total joint cost just now. The total joint cost that you have is 150,000. You want to apportion 150,000 to X, Y, and Z. So now what you need to do, you, you have your joint product and this one is the unit produced just now and you have already worked out your sales value. So this one is your sales value, you already work out. And then you just take the ratio, but the ratio that you're going to take or the proportion that you're going uh, to take now is based on the sales value. So if the sales value for X is 500,000, so that will be 500,000 divided by your 1 million so 500,000 divided by 1 million or 50 percent times the total joint cost that you want to apportion is 150,000 so that gives you 75,000 ringgit and then you do the same thing for your y that is 200,000 divided by 1 million so that gives uh, times with 150,000 ringgit that is the total joint cost that you want to apportion so that will give you 30,000 ringgit and you do the same thing for your product z that is 300,000 divided by 1 million times 150,000 so that will give you 45,000 ringgit so if you total this up again, 75 plus 30 plus 45,000, that will give you, uh, sorry, that will give you 1 million. Sorry, so if you total that up, so 75 plus 30 plus 45, that will give you again the total joint cost that you want to apportion just now, that is 150,000 ringgit. If you were to work out the CPU or the cost per unit, that will be 75,000 divided by the 40,000 units. So 75,000 uh, 75, ringgit divided by 40,000 units. That will give you 1 ringgit and 875 uh, cents. So 
you can do the same thing for the rest of it that is here will be 30,000 divided by 20,000 units that give uh, that will give you 1 ringgit and 50 cent and this is how you work out the CPU that is 45 divided by 60 you will get 0 0.75 so uh, so as a summary if you uh, want to do it based on the uh, uh, sales value method you just work out how much is the sales value and then take the ratio accordingly previously i have shown you using the physical uh, measurement method so you just take a physical measurement as the ratio or the basis for you to allocate the total joint cost okay thank you